So my next topic yeah. is talking about Advent and Christmas. Yeah, we love Christmas. We love Christmas. We love, we love. But how many of you love Advent? Yeah. Christians, we have lost sight of the Advent season because of the influence of the secular liberal world, because of commercialism. Commercialism has turned what should be a period of fasting, almsgiving and prayer into a season of parties, indulgence and celebrating Christmas before it's even Christmas. Christmas begins on the night of the 24th of December. It does not begin on the 1st of December. In the 1st of December, we are in Advent. Advent is a time that we as Christians remember the last things, the judgment seat of Christ and our judgment, the return of Christ and the wrath of God, life eternal, hell and heaven. This is what Advent is about. When you celebrate Christmas from the 1st of December, you're denying your inheritance. You're denying your heritage. As Christians, you have been more influenced by commercialism than you are by the church's calendar. The first Sunday of Advent is our New Year's Day. We don't celebrate New Year's Day on the 1st of January. That is a pagan hangover. So all of you that grumble about Christmas and Easter being pagan, which none of them are, by the way, but all of you that grumble about that, why are you celebrating New Year's Day on the 1st of January? That is an unchristianized festival. Our New Year's Day begins on the first Sunday of Advent. That is when we celebrate the start of the church calendar because the church calendar is an arrow that points through time. And it points towards the beginning of the new age. So, Christians, I want to encourage you, don't go along with the world. Don't be influenced by commercialism. Celebrate Advent before you celebrate Christmas. And how should you celebrate Advent? Let me give you some suggestions. Firstly, hold a New Year's party on the first Sunday of Advent. And please invite me, because I'd love to go to an Advent party. So that's when we celebrate, that's when 2021 becomes 2022 for us on the first Sunday of Advent. Next, next, next ladies and gentlemen, fast. Now modern Advent has been truncated. It's a 40 day festival, including the Sundays. Fast for Advent, become vegan for Advent. Stop eating for a certain number of hours during the day for Advent, fast. Give alms and charity to Christian organizations and Christian causes. Give of your wealth and of your time. Volunteer, give your money. Support Christian organizations, support Christian movements. And that time that you win for yourselves because you're fasting, pray more. Commit yourselves to praying and examining yourself in the faith. And study around the themes of God's judgment. Study around the themes of the afterlife. Study around the theme of the parousia, the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then, on the 24th of December, that's when you decorate your Christmas tree. That's when you get out and wrap up your presents. Make it a family occasion. And if you haven't got family who are Christian, invite your Christian friends around and make it a celebration of the coming of our Lord centered around the Christmas tree. And from the night of the 24th, Christmas begins for 40 days and it goes on into February. So still be saying Merry Christmas at the end of January. Still be saying Merry Christmas on the 21st of January. 
still be celebrating. As Christians, we keep talking about not being like the world. Well, here is a clear way that you cannot be like the world. We talk about not going along with the world. Well, here's a clear example of how you cannot go along with the world. Celebrate Advent before you celebrate Christmas. Any questions? Any questions going once? Any questions going twice? Sorry? So the question is, what about the tree? So this is probably a debate that would be better at Christmas time, but we're very early and I did bring it up, so it's only fair that I take a question about Christmas. Lots of people mistakenly think that Christmas trees are pagan in origin. There is zero evidence for that, zero. The Christmas tree comes from medieval mystery plays in which during religious festivals, the feast of Adam and Eve, which happens on the 25th of December or the 24th of December, they would have a procession. And in this procession, they would have a float. And on the float would be a tree representing the tree of life or a tree, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And this tradition, this visual display was, in court, was then put in the public square so everyone could see it to remind them of the mystery play and the story that came from it. Martin Luther, a reformist, was the one that brought it into the home in Germany. That's why it's a German tradition, not a Mediterranean tradition or an Ethiopian tradition. And so, and so as there's nothing wrong with the Christmas tree. It's not pagan in origin. And it is just a happy way to celebrate the truths of our faith. Any other questions? Richard the Second! Uh, Celebrate the holiday and Father Christmas for children and Christmas presents and the family, the Christmas tree. Brother, brother, it's all right, come on. Brother, 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 peace be with you, peace be with you. Don't let him get to you, don't let him get to you. If you Before react, he wins. Your mum's whores and Bob. Yeah, of course. Take this yeah. arrested. Not yeah. worth it. Not it's not worth, worth it. it. To call your mum a prostitute. Yeah. 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 My mum's dead, mate. You know when? You know when they insult? You know when they insult your mother? You know what? You know when they insult your mother? Just point out their prophet was a paedophile. If they insult you, whenever they insult my mother, I just talk about their prophet. Don't lose your temper. I believe you, bro. I believe you, bro. Don't let him win. Don't let him win. He's trying to provoke you. Don't let him win. Don't let him win. Yeah, 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 yeah.